Hey guys, today we're gonna do some instrumental tests. So you might have heard uh, integration and instrumental tests come along together all the time, but uh, they do actually have a different meaning. Instrumented means that it runs on your Android device. And integration test is an opposite to unit test. In the integrated test, there's several moving parts, meaning uh, several classes. For example, the class that you're testing depends on some other implementation, which could be a library or SDK or whatever. But what we're gonna do is uh, learn how to write some instrumented tests. And uh, one interesting example I came up with is uh, to test a parcelable, which is a Android SDK interface. And what we're just gonna test is uh, to to test if our parcelable implementation is correct. Here I've got a user model with few fields and uh, it implements parcelable. So if you follow TDD principles, which I don't expect you to, then uh, you're totally fine because the first thing you write is test and then implementation. But if you not, let's uh, take a look at uh, how you would uh, create a parcelable model using TDD. So I just need one test method and it lies in the Android tests directory. I have a constructor for user where I pass all the fields and then obtain a parcel and write this user to parcel, reset the parcel position to zero and then create a user from parcel. After that you can test if uh, all the fields were correctly parceled. Let's run a test. And the test failed. I'm running it on my phone. The cool thing is that you don't even need to have your screen on. So let's implement a parcelable correctly. Run our test again. And it passed. But uh, sometimes after a while you would might want to change your model and add a new field. Like uh, let's say a city. Pass it in here in constructor. Create getter setters. And if you already have a test for this uh, user model, your compiler will show an error here, especially if you have just one constructor and uh, no overloaded ones. So you will be eventually notified about uh, updating the test method, even if you might have forgotten it. So you will add a city here. And uh, you can either rely on uh, assert that, a JUnit method, or comparing users with uh, implementing your equal method. I prefer assert that uh, by keeping all the logic in the test itself and not moving it to the model. But what if you have uh, many fields, like 15, 20, 30 fields in the model, and you might forget about uh, asserting some fields, checking some fields, right? That's why I came up with this method, which, uh, which checks all the fields of the object and uh, checks if uh, they are not null using Java reflection. You just pass an object and it uh, gets all the fields using this method, even from the parent of the object, and then checks if uh, it's not null. And it's basically just an auxiliary method for assertions, so it does not verify the volume itself, just the uh, if it's null. And it actually works for Java primitives. So it, it just uh, would help you to notify that you forgot to assert some fields. I know it's not necessary, but uh, but I found it pretty cool. So I wanted to show you this. And it says uh, that the city field is null. And now we can implement it with parcelable. Right string. City. And of course, uh, I sorted the value. Yeah, now our test passed. Uh, it's just a cool method that uh, I wanted to show you guys. And of course, with the instrumented test, you can test so much more stuff, like, uh, for example, databases, especially if you have a SQLi database, it's uh, really useful to test it first with those tests. That's it for now. In the next post, we're gonna start covering uh, UI tests with Espresso, and uh, you can find the source code on GitHub. The link is in the description. Talk to you later.